Amter TV Broadcasting live from Gila Bend Channel 67, Amter TV, broadcasting live from Gila Bend. I will talk to you of art, for there is nothing else to talk about. Good evening. There is nothing else. I'm your host, Hank Miller. With an episode of, of Now It's Dark Burn on M2 TV. Whip your sour cream of circumstance and hope. And go ahead and sleep your bloody heads off. Tonight we're watching Creation. A Bucket of Blood. From 1959, what is not creation is directed by Roger Corman, Let it all to feed the starring creation. Dick Miller the and is. written by Charles Griffith. All others are not. A canvas is a canvas, or a painting. Let's a watch the opening. Is a rock or a statue? A sound is a sound. Or is music? A creature is a creature, or an artist. Where are John, Joe, Jake? Thanks for tuning in tonight, Jim Obsession. Dead, dead, dead. They were not born. Before they were born, they were not born. Where are Leonardo, Rembrandt, Ludwig? Alive, alive, alive. They were born. Bring on the multitude with a multitude of fishes. Feed them to the fishes for liver oil. To nourish the artist. Stretch their skins upon an That's an interactive skin. show. We'd love to hear from our Push audience. You can chat through mold. Twitch. And you can even call Let us. Them die. Talk to Hank live on the air. Just dial 520-329-2866. And you can talk to Hank live on the air. Swimming in the cave of aloneness. 
Swim on, you maudlin, muddling, maddened fool. One bright and sunny night, some artist will bait a Film produced, directed by Roger Corman. Tonight's a special show. This film is a little bit shorter than our other movies. So we've cut in some trailers of some of other Roger Corman's films. So that'll be an extra treat. I was looking at Carla's picture. Why, I pay you to look at pictures? Come on, get to work. I was just looking. There are empty cups all over the place. Clear them out. You shouldn't be so rough on him, Leonard. Hey, say, Wallet. Hi. That's uh, famous actor Bert Condy. Good. Now this is, uh, I think, what you'd call beatnik culture. in a couple of hustlers one of them short fat brunette named skinny and the other one was short also she was bleached skinny appears to be a narc probably they didn't get it they didn't give any pictures though I guess you can keep an eye on okay. happy new year's uh to you well, too jay mall like eh? thanks so much for tuning in thing. didn't see any pushes around the place lou said he'd check out on jerry He'll sound him out later if he gets any higher i guess that's about it okay uh Go on home and get a good night's sleep, you think. Okay, so long. Now, Roger Corman is uh, known as King of the Bees. Everyone listen to my new poem. Meaning, uh... I really heard it. I heard it, Mr. Brock. Thank you. He was really known for making low-budget genre boat. pictures that were meant for the drive-in. The and then later on for the home video the market. <laughs> that was word for word. Yes, it? I've forgotten. You mean you don't remember your own poem? I refuse to say anything twice. It's produced over 500 bad. films. Oh, when you repeat something, you are reliving a moment, wasting it, severing it from the other end of your life. I believe only in new impressions, new stimuli, new life. I thought you believed that life is an obscure hobo bumming a ride on a... I do believe that, Walter, but I also believe creative living. To be uncreative, you might as well be in your grave or in the army. This is a great I'm artist right here, once. poet. I couldn't pass the test. <laughs> Walter, Leonard's looking at you. If you want to talk to Hank, give him a call. 520-329-2866. Well, <laughs> That's right, Jay Monsassian. Roger Cohen, over 500 films. You may even discover an artist of your own. And how much is that going to cost? I think he's regarded as probably the most prolific American filmmaker. Oh, no, it's the artist. I'm just crazy about artists. All that is comes through the eye of the artist. The rest are just blind fish swimming in a cave of aloneness. Oh, you must be an artist. And working as a busboy, too. Feed him that he will be satisfied. The artist is. All others are not. That's most intriguing. Are you a painter? Well, well no, I, I work... I'm working on something that's not ready yet. What is it, man? Finger painting? Hey, draw me a picture of a house, Walter. Make some smoke coming out of the chimney. Well, I am working on something. I'll show you soon. Walter. Poor Walter. Is he, uh... he just wants to be part of the crowd. <sighs> Phone lines are open. 520 329. Two eight six six. Kind of creepy there, Walter. Now, this film is. Uh, 
usually sort of grouped in with one of Roger Corman's other famous films, Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, both these films are considered sort of horror comedies. Oh, Roger, you look awful um, pale. What'd you have to eat tonight? I had a salami sandwich, Mrs. Swicker. I'm sure you've all heard of Little Shop of Horrors. Why don't you let me fix uh, my spoon? This film, too, also was converted to a... I can fix myself something. ...was produced as a musical as well. Oh, oh, say, Walter, did you see anything of Frankie tonight when you went out? I didn't see him at all. But what would you do? Tell him I got a nice, fresh piece of halibut for him. Tell him that? I mean... Do you think he'll understand? He's only a cat. Oh, good night, Walter. Cat's missing. Love to hear from our viewers tonight. 520-329-2866. Now this uh, film was shot on what we would really call a shoestring budget. But already I... You know, you can see some pretty good production value in terms of just lighting and good cinematography. It's good acting and writing as well. As I mentioned, as uh, we approach the commercial breaks throughout the night, um, we'll go right to a trailer of one of Roger Corman's other films. Here we go. Invited to an open house where horror will be your host. The Haunted Palace. You who find a kind of macabre joyousness in the horrifying will enjoy yourselves as in ecstasy in The Haunted Palace. Starring Vincent Price, a being who lived and died and lives again. Jim Ossessian asks, uh, is everything he does on a shoestring budget? Well, I guess that's kind of varying. Intriguing Deborah Paget, whose appealing beauty inflames the blood of the blood. Some of the films uh, were considered his Poe films, which this is one of them, uh, was done on a much larger budget. His violent, torturous passions inflict both pain and terror. Crazy thing about this particular film, Haunted Palace. Cheney, on a it says it's by Edgar Allan Poe, but it's actually based on a H.P. Lovecraft story. And feared new master of the Haunted Palace reaches for the skeleton of one long dead. The reason that is is that uh, they had been making a series of Poe films, and it's just a marketing ploy. You see, he's taking her mind, her soul, just like the others. He's getting well known for it. And uh, Vincent Price appeared in quite a few of those Poe films. We'll see some other trailers later tonight. This night onward, you shall bear my curse. Burn him! Surely after all these years, I'm entitled to a few small amusements? We'll be right back after these messages. So, why am I here? It's a letter from a colleague in Chicago about a clairvoyant case. Richard, you're gonna see the most amazing discovery I've ever made. Where did you find art between the bearded lady and the elephant man? Professor Austin is a non-believer. Science and religion often dismiss what they don't understand out of fear and ignorance. This voyage is the best evidence I've ever come across. You're going to make an excellent subject. It's happening to us, Richard. You don't know what you're dealing with.
what happens if you can't find your way back? Well, then I'd need to find a new body. Amter TV Broadcasting live from Gila Bend Something's coming folks Or in actuality Already here Oh my word Buford There's floating lights in the sky No there ain't woman Gosh darn it I know what I've seen Buford I'm looking at him right now you get back in this house this minute. I think they're aliens, Buford. There ain't no aliens. They're always seeing stuff in the sky that isn't really there. Buford, I cook for you. I clean for you. Oh don't tell gosh, me what I'm seeing over here. Listen, you, you They say the truth is out there. But it's happening right here in Gila Bend. Stay safe, my friends. Operators are standing by. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. back we're watching tonight a bucket of blood from 1959 directed by the prolific roger corman starring dick miller and written by charles griffith as we said in uh First part of the show, Roger Corman was known as the King of the Bees. He's one of the most prolific American filmmakers ever, producing over 500 feature films, mostly on a shoestring budget, primarily for the drive in and home video market. Frankie? Our character here, Walter desires to be uh, an artist, to be accepted in the beatnik cafe where he works. Canvas is a canvas or a painting. A rock is a rock or a statue. A sound is a sound or it's music. Creative frustration, for sure. Frankie, shut up! Oh, what's the matter, Frankie? How'd you get yourself stuck in a wall? Pretty nice uh, lighting effect right there. Wait a minute, I'll get you out. Uh oh. Frankie? Frankie? No good deed right, goes Frankie. unpunished. Uh, 
Thanks for the compliment and the tie, Great Mo Session. I believe that's the landlady's cat. She was looking for him earlier. Poor Mrs. Swicket. Nice it's an interactive show. You. you can uh, love to hear your chats here on the Twitch platform. Give you, you can also me. call us, call in live, speak to Hank live on the air. 520-329-2866. Tell us where you're calling from. Tell us what you think about the film. What's on your mind? Now, Roger Corman started working with two different distributors early in his filmmaking career. AIP, which is American International Pictures, and Allied Artists. And essentially what Roger did is he would raise some money, go make a film, he would sell the film to the distributor, and then from there, he asked for an advance for another film. Then he'd take that money and he'd make two films, not just one. And, buy their miserable debts and he pretty much used this strategy to sort of build his the beginning of what would become his filmmaking empire. Or an ark. Pray that you might be his diadem, gold, glory, paint, clay. That he might take you in his magic hands and bring from your marrow. Phone lines are open. 520-329-2866. Give old Hank a call. Put you live on the air right here in Heel Bend. Dead. Dead. We're watching Bucket of Blood from 1959, directed by Roger Corman. Stuff to the laundry mat, Walter. Huh? Don't mind him. What have you got? It's a thing I made. Walter. Wow. You like it? What you got? Oh, come look at this, Leonard. Well, where'd you get that? Auction? I made it. You made that? I said I did, didn't I? Walter, it's very good. Honest? Honest. What's it called? Dead Cat? Dead Cat? That's its name? Sure. Well, it sure looks dead enough. You you want to buy it? <laughs> what is it buy called? It? That thing? Dead Cat. Scare people out of the place. Don't be silly. It's tremendous. Look at the detail. The anatomy is perfect. Look at the expression on its face. How come you put a knife into it? I didn't mean to. Just got Man, carried away. Man, huh? Only this well, show would have been right. produced back in the beatnik I'll era. I'll put it Old in the Hank corner might of the be famous. The cells will split 50-50, <clears throat> okay? Sure. Does this mean I'm an artist? Maybe so. You can do other things as well. well all that is comes through the eye of the artist. Yeah. Phone lines are open. 520. I go in back and scrub down those garbage. <laughs> Excuse me. 520. You really like it? 2866. Come on. <clears throat> <clears throat> As I mentioned earlier, uh, Did you see my tonight's cat? movie uh, a, a little bit shorter than our usual films. So we've cut in trailers of other Roger Corman films. How do you like um, the cat? So we'll get a chance to see like some uh -huh. some of other Roger's work. As we watch the film tonight. Crazy. You wanna buy it? For me, man. I'm tapped. You like it? 
likes my cat. I've got to work. These guys are, this is heavy, man. These guys are cool. <laughs> hey, hey, Waller, come here a minute. And congratulations, man. Walter, you're famous. I saw your cat. You mentioned too uh, you like it, earlier that uh, you may call me Max. This is really known as a horror it, comedy, right. and there's just a lot of times uh, sort of. <laughs> Grouped with Roger Corman's other Attention. film, famous film, Attention, everyone. Little Shop of Horrors. As you pass through these yellow portals, I am sure you noticed on your right a small clay figure. And assume this transfixed effigy to be the work of a master sculptor. And indeed, so it is. That master sculptor is in our midst. He is none other than Walter Paisley, our very own busboy, whose hands of genius have been carrying away the empty cups of your frustration. Mark well this lad. His is the silent voice of creation. Within the dark, rich soil of humility, he blossoms as the hope of our nearly sterile century. Uh, beautiful, Maxwell. Bring me an espresso, Walter. Hey, Maxwell, really beautiful. Thank you. Man, you Good are job, Walter. In. Oh, Walter, it was yes, wonderful. Yes, man, the yes. yes. This is my man. Took with everything. Yes, yes. Listen, man, you got a pen, huh? This is my man. <clears throat> hey, pops, what's happening? Making a big scene for Walter. Who did he shoot? This is Bert Convy right here. I think he had a career as uh, a game show host. See you around. Yeah, later. As I mentioned, we're uh, showing some trailers of some of Roger's other films. Here we go. Like I said, Roger did a lot of drive-in movies, and uh, so <clears throat> monster movies were really a, a big part of this catalog. On an isolated Pacific island, the Navy lands a party of daring scientists to solve the mysterious disappearance of an entire atomic research team. Strange horror strikes first at the plane that brought them. And then, earth-shattering tremors begin tearing the island to shreds. Okay, Professor, how are the crabs blowing up the island? I am not sure, but imagine they are able to send out arcs of heat. They are packed with it. They can melt and fuse parts of the caverns, explode the materials contained, and bring about the slides. There used to be ridges there for maybe two miles. Nowadays, less than half a city block. Soon we will have nowhere to run. Fathoms deep among the terrors of the mighty Pacific. Tonight we're watching Bucket of Blood, but right now we're seeing a trailer from one of Roger Klein's other films. <laughs> Here are monsters with razor-sharp claws that hand grenades and dynamite cannot stop. Nor searing fire and flame, nor tons of crushing rocks, as mankind faces its last desperate chance. Tidal wave of terror from under the sea. Attack of the crab. We'll be right back after these messages. Back in the wild frontier. Things aren't always as they seem. God help us all. A mother with nothing left to lose. My son and husband were killed must join forces with a town held hostage. Wiped out half the town. There's nothing we can do. By a ruthless, supernatural outlaw. Well, it's like he ain't even human. Think of me as a ghost. But when a mysterious stranger rides into town... Is that your name? Pelchidian? A phantom warrior sworn to protect the righteous. They're caught in the showdown between good and evil.
Denise Crosby from Star Trek The Next Generation, Angus Scrimm from Phantasm, and Robert McRae in the ultimate dual role. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. Well, hello there. At first glance, you failed to recognize me. So you must live a rare life of seclusion, and I pity you for that. For the rest of you, you know this striking visage is none other than I, famed author, noted personality, and the host of television, Unexplained, Explained, Walter D. Zark. And I'm here today to talk to you about one thing and one thing only. Pizza. What kind of pizza, you ask? Why only the best. The most wondrous. The most mysterious pizza out there today. That's right. I am talking about Peistradamus' Pizza Prophecies. We're back. You're watching Now It's Dark on Anto TV. Tonight's film is A Bucket of Blood from 1959, directed by Roger Corman, starring Dennis Miller, and written by Charles Griffin. No, 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 no. you got it coming. Besides, you're creating an incident. When people are applauding, they don't know what caught me. So go on home and work on something. Make another cat. Well, I haven't got another cat. Well, just go to the movies. Please, Walter, go. All right, Mr. DeSantis. Good night. Good night, Walter. Walter? Walter, wait a minute. Oh, hello, Naolia. Walter, I dug it. My cat? It was the most wonderful, wildest, like, wittiest thing I've ever Being seen. Being an artist can be tough. Walter, you've done something to me. Something deep down inside of my prana. I have? Oh, Walter, I want to be with you. You're creative. You've got a hot light bulb glowing inside of you, and I want to be warmed by it. Gee, that's nice <laughs> of you, Naolia. Walter, take me away from here. Take me away to some cool blue oh, place. And gas me. I can't. I got to go home. Oh, then I'll go home with you. Oh, no, Mrs. Wicked wouldn't like that. She's my landlady. Isn't there anything I can do for you? This film is heating up. I don't think up. so, Maolia. Walter, I can't let you just split like this. I've got to do something. I've got to contribute. You don't have to do anything. Wait. Wait, there is one thing I can do. One little thing. Don't leave, Walter. I want to give you something. Something that'll make you remember me. Put it in your pocket. Now go, Walter. Don't look back. Just what did go. she just give him?
I don't know what Bert Tommy's up to here. This here is an interactive show. We'd love to hear from you, whether it's through the chat function here on Twitch, or you can even call in, speak to old Hank live on the air. Just call 520-329-2866. We'll put you on the air. Everybody call our studio chat. line, 520-329-2866. Want to buy my statue, mister? $10,000? Okay. That's right, Jay Monsession. <clears throat> uh, poor Stick Miller. And then I can ask Carla and she'll say yes. I knew she will. So what's Walter gonna make now, I wonder? Hi, you're Lou, ain't you? I seen you the writer of this film, plenty. Charles Come Griffith, in. was a I was just making contributor, some pancakes. Uh, some collaborator like, with uh, Roger on some other films. Yeah, I saw your cat. I also saw that chick lay these on you. Oh, that was Naolia. She's a nice girl. She's kind of strange, though. I guess she figures I get headaches or something. Okay, Walter, who's your connection? Connection? Yeah, connection. Who do you score from? Where do you oh, buy your horse? Some drugs. Horse? Horse, junk, white stuff, heroin. Is that what that is? I've never seen any of that before. I always thought that was expensive. Yeah, Walter, that can be real expensive. Gee, well, wasn't that nice in Naolia to give me that expensive horse? Walter. Huh? Police officer. Ooh, you're like an undercover man. You're under arrest, Walter. Under arrest for what? Possession of narcotics. I think for Walter's me? not the sharpest tool in the shed. What are you talking about? Walter, I got you cold. Now you just come along quietly. I didn't do nothing. And they only have given me those. I didn't ask her for it. I didn't right. even know what was all in right. there. All right, you can tell them that downtown. Now, let's go. I ain't going no place with you. Walter, do I have to point this at you? You're going to shoot me. No, D -d don't shoot me. Walter, just relax. No, you're going to shoot me. Now, just relax. No, don't shoot just me. shut up, Walter. No, you're going to shoot me. Don't shoot <laughs> Are you all right? I thought I heard you shouting a minute ago. Great storytelling right here. You commit murder Walter! and then somebody's there to discover it right away. What's all the noise in here? Noise, Mrs. Swicket? What noise? Don't tell me I didn't. Is that what it was, J Mo Sessian? Sure the guy from alone? the, what was it, the Million Dollar alone, Pyramid game yeah. show? Walter, have you been talking to yourself again? Well, I, I guess maybe I have, Mrs. Swicket. Somebody's got to. Walter, you know, what, what you need is a girl. Was that $100,000? She doesn't have to be pretty. Just so long as she takes good care of you. Well, I can take real good care of myself, Mrs. Swicket. Yeah, I can see that. Look at this pad. It's terrible. Why did you ever clean it up? And when did you change these sheets last? They look like they're alive. <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Swicket, uh, I gotta meet some friends in a little while, and I gotta take a shower. Well, well, you know, why so don't you clean up this stuff? Oh, please. Know, they call this uh, film uh, comedy, but I'm, I'm laughing. But uh, but I don't uh, I don't see many jokes in it. There are some jokes in it, but uh, it's a great shot. Full lines are open, 520-329-2866. I can't help it if I got scared and hit you. I didn't mean it. It's crazy. <clears throat> it's crazy. I was talking about the writer on this film, um, Charles Griffith. I didn't know you had it in you, Walt. He also wrote... Uh, Little Shop of Horrors uh, with for Roger, among other films. Just took some clay and but one of the it other up. films that I think is just one of classic Roger Corman films. Go home and make one of the best. The... Death make Race 2000. So, Charles Griffith, known for 
Bucket of Blood, Photoshop of Horrors, and Death Race 2000. I haven't got another another little tidbit. I believe it. Quentin Tarantino. Well, I reported in here around midnight. Um, Lou had already been gone over an hour. No, nobody seems to know where he went. Uh, Why don't you put an alert out on him and I'll yeah. check on him from here? Okay, right. Excuse me for a second there. Lost my thought. Uh, this the film tonight's a little bit short um, than our uh, than our other films, and so we uh, we'll be showing some trailers of uh, other Roger Corman's films. So uh, as we approach each commercial break, we'll see a, a trailer of another Roger Corman film. Sorry, what I was saying is Quentin Tarantino dedicated his uh, film Death Proof um, to Charles Griffin, big fan. <clears throat> I think that sculpture is going to smell. Little fraud. So here's another trailer of another Poe film. Roger Cohn was known for his Poe series, Edgar Allan Poe series. And again, he worked and uh, with Vincent Price quite a bit. Vincent Price was in quite a few of the Poe films. True terror is the soft, cold caress of Boris Karloff also appeared in another, two other films for Roger Corman, The Terror and Target, directed by Peter Bogdanovich. A woman Bogdanovich. whose desires transcend reality. The mysterious powers of black magic, these you will explore. Now what is it you need? You got some dried blood off a bat in the house? This too, I think this film, The Raven, um, Starring Jack Nicholson. The Raven will there. take you careening um, through the darkest of days. Also was a horror comedy. Into the ominous mystery of a master magician's evil castle. <gasps> Afraid, my dear? I offer you a and uh, Jim Obsessian asked earlier if all, if all of uh, Roger's films were shot on shoestring budget. The Poe this. films were shot with quite larger budgets. <laughs> and uh, well, had a much larger do something. Um, success and reach in terms of audience. Very popular, no uh, you know, hey, well, really in the same vein of Adieu some of the Hammer films. The death. Thanks for tuning in tonight, Stock Trailer Mike. Yeah, Targets, if you've seen it, it's a fantastic film. Uh, directed by Peter Blackcomb. back after we'll this be right back after these messages Someone like you out. 25 years is not enough. I'm a new man, but a new life, I'm not going back. A wicked man flees, so no one pursues. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked. 
evil men do not understand justice, he who conceals his sin shall not prosper. A man tormented by the guilt of murder will be a fugitive until death. Let no one support him. Amter TV Broadcasting live from Gila Bend Tapes from numerous locals with strong evidence that we are being visited from beings beyond the stars I must warn you what you are about to see is highly disturbing Hey! Ed, is that you? Ad, are you out here, girl? What in the hell is going on here? Oh my god! It's... It's like the size of a building. They say the truth is out there. But it's happening right here in Gila Bend. Stay safe, my friends. Operators are standing by. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm your host, Hank Miller. The show, Now It's Dark. We're screaming. Bucket of Blood from 1959. Directed by Roger Corman. Starring Dick Miller. And written by Charles Griffith. And the killing of his my own mic, child, <clears throat> the jury found him guilty and the Thanks for tuning in tonight, J-Mo Obsession, Stock Trailer Mike. Murder. What do you suppose they want? <laughs> you, man, <laughs> you. Hey, maybe they're looking for old Walter. He's a criminal type. <laughs> Ain't you, Walter? Sorry, Mr. DeSantis. Oh, that's all right, Walter. <laughs> Sit down. Mm -hmm. Sit down. As I mentioned earlier, uh, this uh, film Greetings, is kind of man. usually put in with, uh, with kind of packaged with the Little Shop of Horrors, now, which is another Roger Coleman film. Now, why should you sit at the film. table, Walter? After all, you're a big artist now, a true creator above mere mortals. What's the big idea? Idea? I was just telling Walter the truth. You mentioned uh, man wanted to pay uh, me one hundred dollars. Previous to uh, segment. In fact, that, he's taken um, home the show to his wife. Uh, one of the films that, that Roger produced was called opinion. Target, which it was worked? directed by Peter Bogdanovich. Uh, Peter Bogdanovich is an Oscar-winning like filmmaker, a Get off who is really the most famous for making uh, the Last Picture Show and Paper Moon. Walter, what are you going to make next? A dog, maybe, or a bird. So Peter was a uh, assistant to Roger. And Roger gave him an opportunity to make a couple films hey, for him. Why don't you make and I think an one of I, I got his first films, one. Target, great. starring Boris Karloff, was quite Sims. great. Full-length, life-size figure. Crazy. What is it called? Uh, Murdered Man. That's right, Sock Trailer Mike. Beatniks. Oh, anytime. Hey, that's a pretty far out name for a statue. I saw it's a, a great time to be alive. It was called the third time Phyllis saw me, she exploded. Well, what kind of a statue was that? I don't know. It was made out of driftwood and dipped in fluoric acid. Very wild. <laughs> What's wrong, Leonard? For a low budget film, 
nothing. Not uh, made with no, very much money. Got a great we acting performance. Try the and so actually, a pretty good script. Too much. Uh, excuse me, please. I think he really is sick. So who isn't? These guys are great. Santos. Uh, interactive show. We'd love to see your chats here in the Twitch platform. And then, of course, we got a live phone line. Call 520-329-2866. Talk to Hank live on the air. Love to hear from you. $300 for the cat? I know I'm going out of my mind, but I've been collecting art pieces all over Europe. If you're just years. joining us, and this boy, Walter uh, Paisley, our main character, Walter, not the sharpest tool in the shed, sure really wants to uh, be accepted the by the beatnik crowd here, and uh, has discovered he can make art by covering dead bodies with Someone clay. A First a cat. And now a human you being. Have it for the five hundred dollars. Oh, thank you, sir. I think I've made a bargain. Call me when you're ready. Good night. Not the first okay. film that uh, we've shown on this. I'm we've had on this show that deals with uh, the possible madness that can come about with creative people. And the prison bell I don't know if you uh, saw our show when we screened Thriller Killer, which was about down, a painter. You murderer, go down. Look at the size of it. Well, it's, it's not really that big. I got it on kind of a stand. This is Walter's latest piece. Well, let's see it. I'm a little nervous. I, I never did a person before. You can do anything if you set your mind to it. It's hot in here. You want me to open a window? Oh, come on, Walter. His Take first off piece the was sheet. Dead Cat. <laughs> Don't you like it? Walter, it's I don't know if this is called piece. Split Skull. I've never seen anything like it before. And I hope I never see anything like it again. Neither do I. It's hideous, and it's eloquent. It expresses modern man and all his self-pity. How did you ever find that in yourself, Walter? Well, it, it wasn't easy. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Nothing. Nothing at all. I've never seen anyone so <clears throat> squeamish. What's your opinion, Leonard? Don't ask me. Oh, come on. Now even you must see its value. If you think on the show tonight, I, I want to try and find some time to, much less executed it? to th uh, mention well, then admit just it. some. It's a work of genius. I admit it. Of the filmmaking A-list who started working for Roger at the beginning of their well, you, careers. You cover it up again, please, huh? Please. What is all this nonsense? Why do you want to hide it? Well, if you're just joining us, this I gentleman knows uh, what I, Walter does. I didn't realize how much talent Walter <laughs> actually had. It would be wrong to show his pieces one at a time. Dead wrong. You're right. He should build a collection first. Yes, yeah. that's the idea. Maybe when it's big enough, we can have a show. A show? Yeah. Uh, just for me? No, well, not exactly. I mean, you can again, take live, years uh, and years. Again, live, the interactive show. Uh, we got our. It's getting hot again. Uh, what it would you can take call into years our to make live that many studio statues. line five two zero three two nine two eight six six. It's a wonderful idea, Walter. Give Hank a little it's call. The only way to gain put you live on the air. All the big art <clears> critics and art dealers will be there. Tell be Hank what you think yes, about this movie. Yes, and we can unload. We sell this stuff for a lot more. The show, uh, how soon can we go? Well, don't rush things, it takes time. But first of all, you've got to stop making these horrible statues. Carla and I will guide you. Can you imagine you can buying this piece and it free starts free to well, smell a little With bit later? Talent for realism? But you can see the direction this realism, realism takes. takes. It's unhealthy. But, but you said I was a genius. I don't want to be a busboy anymore. 
Yes. Maybe you got a point there. You shouldn't keep working at the yellow door. Look, I'm sure that man is going to buy your dead cat. So here, here's your fee in advance. Fifty dollars. And if you need more, I've got it, so don't worry. I've got great faith in you, Walter. <laughs> Gee, fifty dollars for something I made. Now you're a professional. Walter's now a professional artist. Okay. Good night, Walter. Keep up the good work. Yeah, but don't rush things. You got all the time in the world. Come on, Carla. Good night. Oh, sure you are, Walter. I am. Look. Good night. Tonight's movie is a little bit shorter than most of our films that we play. So before we go to commercial breaks, we'll always have a trailer of another Roger Corman film. So. One of the greatest advances in modern poetry is the elimination of clarity. I am proud to say my poetry is only understood by that. Take an opportunity right here to mention. Well, what? Why not of anything stupid? Just aware. Man, this place is beginning to feel like a lineup. Yeah, baby. If it don't cool out pretty soon, I'm gonna haunt somebody else's joint. We may have to start drinking. Here we go. Uh, another Poe film from Roger Corman. Now this starred Ray Milan. I'm not sure if you know who he is, but he had won an Oscar, uh, I believe, for Lost Weekend. Just the two of us, together. A woman possessed by love. <laughs> A man obsessed by terror. Only Edgar Allan Poe, who knew intimately the tortures of madness, could create such ever-increasing suspense. <laughs> Only an artist of unique talent and unusual sensitivity could live so demanding a role, believing he is destined the other, to be married. Uh, the alive. Roger made most of his films on a shoestring budget, and I mentioned no earlier that the Poe films had a little bit larger budgets. Um, no matter how desperately they were also fought, kind of the first foray for Roger into making color death. films. Up until this point, most of his films were shot in black and white. Until reality and madness to get to the became driving. one. If his father was prematurely interred, I heard his voice. All right, then prove it. I will. You are about to enjoy an experience in extreme terror. Great shot. His great God, colored lighting and cinematography. I'm alive, alive, alive. Someone help me. Then yeah, these films are really popular for Roger. We'll be right back after these messages. See you, Marcus, tonight? No, I am on Big Brother detail this week. My little brother Corey's in town. Are you man. kidding me, man? That's perfect. Who are you to limit his college experience, huh? My main man, what's going on? Chilling, man. I think I picked something up on the fucking booze cruise. This place is usually bumping at this time. I hate the week after spring break. Everyone brings back some sort of sick shit with them. Anybody call the cops yet? All, all the lines are busy. It's pretty safe in here, right? That door is a solid as rock. I said we just stay chill here for a while, right? Great. Dorm was a freaking dead. 
we're gonna need a place to go after this, and the studio seems like the safest spot. You grab something to defend yourselves with. We're moving out. This is how it always starts. Somebody gets curious, curious George goes out the door, and then boom! Here comes the show. I'm sorry, but when I see somebody hungering for my sweet, succulent brain flesh, I call them a zombie. College is going to rock. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. Experience, 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 experience. A dining experience unlike any other has just come to me. I see that they have been rated number one in quality assurance and customer service. At Paisa Domus, every employee is handpicked for their psychic ability and, and mental prowess, like this young man right here, so he can deliver on our famed motto. If we forget to predict the toppings on your order before you made your order, then because we forgot to do that, it's going to be uh, discounted at 50% off of the order. So half, half, half off the pizza for because I didn't do it right. Great, and that's a sightseer's guarantee. Mom! Experience. 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 Uh, you going to finish that. Gab is the owner and operator of MMTR TV in Heel Bend. He was last seen looking for his dog guide on Old Benson Highway. If you've seen Big Gab arrived, please call 520-329-2866. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV, broadcasting live from Gila Bend. Yes, man, yes, yes. We're back. I'm your host, Hank Miller. Now it's dark. We're watching A Bucket of Blood. 1959. Good evening, Walter. Good evening, Starring Walter. Dick Miller. Sylvia. Directed by Roger Corman. Let me wave my Zen stick. Oh, it's Walter Paisley. You bring me a cappuccino and a piece of papaya cheesecake and, and a bottle of Yugoslavian white wine. Yes, sir, Mr. Paisley. Good evening, Walter. Maxwell, how have you been? I see the rewards of achievement have come your way. Well, after all, I'm a successful sculptor now. Indeed. Hey man, dig Walter the Wigger. It's coming out like you just it's nice to be a part of the crowd now. Let us make the scene. Crazy. I was just suggesting to Walter that he try his hand at free form. Why do you suggest anything to Walter? Are you the spokesman for society come to put your stifling finger in his eye? Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, now who invited these two down from the clouds? Maxwell, you who? Through the table, bring a bowl. I may be sick. It's Alice the Awful. Comes to spread cheer and the color. <laughs> Look at my suntan, everybody. Do we have to? Where have you been, Alice? I went up to Big Sur to look for Henry Miller. You didn't find him, I hope. No, he's in Europe. So, Good. a couple different things tonight. Tonight's show, the movie's Why a little bit shorter, so we have some extra trailers cut in. That's right. So Walter has become a sculptor. Some, uh, oh, examples really? of other Roger Corman films. I'm a model, you know. I only charge $25 an hour. Would you like to do me? I just might. Never mind that. Walter's gonna try freeform. There you go again. 
I and then we have another very special sword. segment As at the end of the fact, show tonight. I was going to suggest to Walter that he try a female figure. I had an opportunity to meet Roger Corman once. Death theme. You really should, Walter. And you know uh, we have a video recording of that. Your model for free. I couldn't. Not you. So stay Not tuned after the show, artist, you've got to do after nudes, the movie, nudes. and uh, right, see that little right, video right. segment of when Ain't I first met Roger. An artist unless he does. Dude. Will you get them out of here before we wind up in night court? Oh, let's change the subject. I'm sick of hearing about sculpture. Nobody knows how to do that anymore, much less the busboy from the yellow door. Who do you think you're talking about? Don't shout at me. I don't like you. <laughs> Show tonight's interactive. <laughs> Love to hear from you in the Walter. chat. You're just a simple or you can give us a call. The rest of us are all and, sophisticated uh, deepniks. That's all, man. Talk to Hank. Split. 520-329-2866. I gotta make these. Four lines air. open. See you. You made them leave. What did I do? These two the guys are great. I love those two guys. United life. It proves we're all good for something. Are you saying that this bus boy is better than I? Yes. I think this whole bit about him being a sculptor is just a big put on for my benefit. That's not true. I am a sculptor. Oh yeah? Prove it. Make something out of this. There. Hand. <laughs> that isn't a real hand. If you were a sculpture, you'd create something for me. A harpoon would be very nice. I'm going home. Alice? You're obnoxious. But he's such an idiot. <clears throat> Phone lines are open. 520-329-2866. Other people who got their start with Roger Corman, James Cameron, who did special effects on one of Roger's movies, Battle Beyond the Stars. Another Academy, uh, Academy Award winner, Francis Ford Coppola, directed a film called Dementia, Dementia 13. Um, another director, Joe Dante. Joe Dante directed a movie called Piranha to Roger. I wanted to apologize um, for being nasty. He's well known for So you Gremlins. apologize. Good night. Listen, Torf, why don't you get out of here and let me go to bed? I didn't finish talking to you. I decided to make that female figure uh -oh. after all. Oh? I'd like you to pose for it. Remember what I said about my price? Twenty-five dollars an hour. If you want to pay it, I don't mind posing. When do you want to start work? Tonight. You mean right now? Uh-huh. Wait till I get my sweater. <clears throat> I don't think this is going to end well. <clears throat> Another Academy Award winner that started with Roger, Jonathan Demme, the director of Silence of the Lambs. Directed a couple of films for Roger. One of the, the most no, the t notable of those Roger Horn films was a film called Caged Heat, a woman's a prison heat movie. This place. It's bad for the clay. You'll get used to it. Well, I'm almost ready. Other uh, directors that got started with Roger, Carl Franklin, Here. fabulous filmmaker. Uh, sit in this chair and I'll pose who directed one of the, I think, one of the best films of the 90s, One False Move, with Bill Paxton and Joe. Uh, kind of rickety. How's this pose? Well, that's fine. It's very good. Just stay like that. It doesn't look like very much clay. Oh, it's enough. Sorry. Uh, one false move. Sorry, Billy Bob. Put this around your neck. Once you're successful. 
You gotta keep doing what made you successful. Watch it, the plate's hot. For Walter. Are these fertile eggs? Are these eggs fertile? It's making sculptures out of dead things. Try them in. <clears throat> well, we ran out of the safflower seed oil, but I found a bottle of peanut oil on the shelf. Don't worry, it's not hydrogenated. Is that the cold press stuff or the junk Hilda bought by mistake? <laughs> yes, man, yes. Hi. Good morning, Walter. Hi, Walter. What brings you here? Other known Tell filmmakers. Curtis what Hansen. And soy and wheat germ pancakes. Who, uh, Organic directed nectar, L.A. Confidential. And tomato juice and garbanzo omelets sprinkled with smoked yeast. Join us? No, thanks. Mm. Sounds great, though. Mm. Uh, I brought something to show you. Could I have some of the guys help me? Is it Monty Hellman. Man? It's better. Uh, uh -huh. Another um, Borders. filmmaker that uh, Quentin Tarantino uh, mentions quite a bit. He directed the, uh, in the, middle of the room. iconic when did you the last car night. movie. It doesn't take me very long. I should say Black Well, Hall. let's see it, man. Monty Hellman, I think, directed one of my favorite Roger Corman films, <clears throat> produced films called Cockfighter. Walter, I can't believe it. Hi, Mama. Walter's work's getting a little dark here. Do you think it's nice? Hey, she's beautiful. Do you think it's nice in a murdered man? Oh, I don't know, Walter. It's impossible to choose. They're both great. Walter, I'm deeply moved. To show my appreciation, I'm going to give a party tonight at the Yellow Door. In your honor. And I shall compose a poem. All right, here's another trailer of another Poe film from Roger, The Fall of the House of Usher. Again, not many of these Poe films, but not all, uh, starred Vincent Price. <clears throat> the long collaboration Don't with Roger, no, of the go. iconic horror actor. Only the incomparable genius of Edgar Allan Poe could knit them so closely together. The burning passions of the purest of loves. The deadly passions of the madly prurient. Now, these were still considered uh, lower budget films, not as big as the major studio productions, <clears throat> but a really a much larger departure from his, you know, much more shoestring, cheaper films. This is monstrous. It waits for me, because very soon I shall be dead. Oh, Madeline, come away with me now. Now, I mentioned um, tonight's film is directed by Roger. The Fall of the House of Usher is directed by Roger. Where is um, she? He's a director and a producer. Oh, your own alive? And so. Um, He's produced over 500 feature films. The master hand of the macabre. And uh, some of those uh, other masterpiece. Uh, directors and writers. And we'll talk about some actors later as well. Got their stars right Films are very popular, the post series. We'll be right back after these messages. was killed tonight. One to the forehead. You sunk a lot of dough in Charlie's joint. What did you and him fight about tonight? One of you two killed Charlie. I find out who soon. 
or I kill you both. I saw somebody driving away. Could have been anybody. You've got to help me locate Dell before it gets to Charlie. Whatever I've done, I've done for her. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. Something's coming, folks. Or in actuality, already here. Darling, I'm telling you, I've been hearing weird stuff all night. Just want to see what it is. Holy shit! It's one of them flying saucers. Look at it move. <laughs> Something there? Hello? <laughs> they say the truth is out there, but it's happening right here in Gila Bend. Stay safe, my friends. Operators are standing by. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. We're back. I'm Hank Miller, host of Now It's Dark. We're watching yeah, yeah. Where, where? A Bucket of Blood yeah. from 1959. Directed by Roger Corman and Stone Dick Miller. Just a quick reminder. At the end of tonight's program, I will have a special video that documents the opportunity when I met Roger Corman. The highway of life cuts sharply through the shady ghettos and the ivy-covered tombs, and laughter rings from every time capsule in the star-spangled firmament. And in the deep freeze, it is the children's hour, and no one knows that Duncan is murdered. And no one knows that Walter Paisley is born. Duncan knows. Tuesday Sunrise knows. Alley cats and garbage cans and steaming pavements and you and I and the nude descending the staircase and all such things with souls we know that Walter Paisley is born. Ring rubber bells. Who's a special Beat boy? J. Mobsession. Walter. Symbols. Play it is Wonder, the cats and cans, and you and I, and all such things. Scepter, souls. We the paper shall crown. Hear Walter Paisley is born, and the souls become flesh. Walter Paisley is born. Marvelous, the 
Molly, marvelous. Man, like that was the These greatest guys are great. I ever heard. Crazy, what did he say? Didn't you hear him? No, man, I'm too far out. There, uh, Roger made several Maxwell, films too that dealt with right. counterculture, so uh, especially through the word. '60s. Makes me so glad I'm aware. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Yes, Walter. All about me. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? Yes, Jamo says him. Yeah, I don't think Walter's the uh, sharpest tool in the shed, as we say here in the old days. the bubbly artist. Yeah, why? You might talk too much. <laughs> what would I say? Most anything I expect. Are you two trying to ignore the rest of us? Thanks for tuning in tonight, Stock oh, no, Trailer Mike. J Mo of Session. Really appreciate you. Uh, your, your uh, chat tonight. To uh, this is an interactive show. I'm gonna make the uh, most phone lines are open. You can call in and speak live to Hank on the air. I'm gonna make big statues and little statues, tall statues and short statues. I'm going to make statues of nobodies and statues of famous people. 520-329-2866. And poets and people who sell things on television. And a statue of the mayor. And some opera singers and their intimate friends. And everybody will say, Walter, let me shake your hand. It's been a real pleasure to have known you. Cats, Walter's uh, <laughs> this is going to be a hard career to sustain. Uh, other famous people that have gone through Roger Corman's school of filmmaking, starting their careers with him. The composer, James Horner. The director, Ron Howard. Producer Gail Ann Hurd, who uh, next, was Walter? married to James Cameron early on and produced The Terminator. What am I going to do next? She produced one of Roger's next? famous films from the 70s, Humano Humanoids from the Deep. They forget. I know what it's like to be ignored. Now, what's going to happen here? Who are you? What do you want? Life is an obscure hobo, bumming a ride on the omnibus of I. Huh? What'd you say? What well, is not creation is graham crackers. Let them all crumble to feed the creator. Oh, beat it. You must be nuts. Wow. Uh, I think Walter is way off the deep end there. What's in the box? What's in the box? Hello, Leonard. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Was. What's that you got in the box? Uh, just wait till you see this. Phone lines are open. 520-329-2866. Leonard. What's the matter, Leonard? <laughs> this is getting out of hand. He's getting out of head. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? What's the matter, Leonard? Put it down, Walter, please. Walter. Walter, listen to me carefully. I don't want you to make any more statues. Do you understand? No more statues. Other Why famous not? people that have worked for I Roger. Make statues, uh, Janice you know, Kaniski. Brock, they want me to make them. It's one of uh, yeah, Steven Spielberg's collaborators as a DP. Again. Brock, he's behind all of this with this stupid uh, poetry. Listen, Nicholas Rogue you've got to shot stop right away. Uh, I'm beginning to feel po, uh, The Edgar Allan Poe film Mask of Red Death do? for Roger. Never mind. Nicholas Rogue turned out to be a director 
I've decided to have a great film called uh, Don't Look Now, horror it's film, great. When Carla comes, and uh, we'll have work up some nice the David Bowie film, we'll have them The Man up. Who Fell to Earth. We'll invite the critics and the art collectors. We'll tell them. Well, I don't see why we can't. Thanks for joining us tonight, Rocky. Appreciate you showing up tonight. Thanks for watching. We're watching Bucket of Blood. He slighted you. Did you get an invitation? I did not. But I'm going anyway. Not to drink his champagne. Our film tonight's a little bit shorter than uh, our other films, generally. So we've got some trailers of other Roger Corman films. Why not? It would imply you cut in, so we get a chance to see some other work from Roger. You look so handsome. I do. So do you. I mean... You and I hope so all of you will stay Thank tuned you. after the movie oh, for a short video time. presentation I know, I that to documents okay. can go now if you like. the Bye. time I actually met Roger Corman. It was an honor. So uh, please stay tuned after well, the movie and see a little video. You suppose he could be physically attracted to her? That's right, Rocky. Man, if you haven't seen Don't, Don't Look Now, it's a great film. A totally creepy. Maybe you just started taking it. it. Won't, you won't be disappointed. Great film. Donald Sutherland stars. All right. Here's one of the trailer for Roger, which I think is his, very, Take a good look his at very best it. film. He's a and it's not a horror film. He knows exactly how it's to turn drama. this quiet town into a hell of violence. The Negroes will literally, and I do mean literally, control the South. They are willing to fight down to the last ditch. I keep fighting Roger this said over. this is the only film that he made that didn't make money. The Intruder. He made the sleepy town of Caxton his town for his reason. He played on their fears and their hatreds. This town became a headline for The Intruder. He brought an end to innocence. He exploited a Talk woman's Talk about weakness. other filmmakers got their start. He turned neighbor young against William neighbor. Shatter. How come you walk that Starting bunch of black fall. niggas to our white school? I don't see anything I do is any business of yours. And sooner or later it would happen. He would make it happen. Over here. <laughs> That's right, Rocky. This you film's alone. still relevant, unfortunately. With a white girl. Incredible in film. The basement of the school. But you didn't try to do anything. Is that what you expect us to believe, nigger? <laughs> the sad thing is, this is a really well made film. Great story, script, strong acting performance. Important uh, topic. But Roger didn't make any money on it, so he never made another dramatic film again. back after these messages. Don't quit daydreaming about the life you don't have. Get busy living the one you do. And one of these days I'm gonna just go. You gonna get yourself lost out there? You need to report a crime. This girl is chained. And the girl, how is she now? <laughs> You have money, right? Cops are looking for a young man that robbed a... What was it again, Rocky? Department store. Down around Milton. Young man they're looking for fits your description. Mister, I'm just passing through. Call me, Hart. You are exactly who I say you are. Find him. Bring him in. You are lost to the world, boy.
That's a downside to getting lost. You become more trouble than you're worth. Getting found. <laughs> you're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. Experience. 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 Uh, you gotta finish that uh, Handcrafted to perfection. Cooked to pure bliss. With a sauce so savory and sweet, it could only be crafted with a secret recipe as illustrious and mysterious as the company's founder, chef, and esteemed magician, Amadeus Von Nostromo. So trust me, New York Post best-selling author, fictional revolutionary, maverick, and all-around handsome man. When you're feeling hungry, pick up that phone and call. But don't be surprised when they tell you what you want to order. And remember, experience the czar. Ice Drama Pizza Bravo 655-7792, Court of Craycroft and Speedway. Call now and experience the czar. Channel 67, Amter TV, broadcasting live from Gila Bend. What did you want to talk to me about, Walter? Well, We're back. Uh, what kind of people do you like, Carla? We're watching A Bucket oh, of Blood from 1959, directed by Roger Corman. Artistic people, I guess. You think I'm artistic? Of course I do. That means you like me. I like you very much, Walter. I, I, I thought you did on account how you kissed me the other night. Oh, that was for your sculptor of the girl. You're nude in the chair. Carla, uh, uh, <clears throat> I, I've been alone for a long time, and, and I know you've been alone, because you never seem to go out with anybody, even though Leonard's always asking you to go out with him, and I just... The film stars Dick Miller, who is our what are you lead right here, say? Walter, and written by Charles Griffin, who also wrote uh, Roger's film, Carla? Little Shop of Horrors, I, I, I don't one make of his greatest anymore. films that I he produced, Death Race to 2000. You. How long have you been thinking about this, Walter? Oh, for, for a long time. Ever since you first came to work at the club. Just want to take a moment right you now. You uh, nice to me. I know just you to say you something real quickly. Uh, we showed uh, one of the films playing at the drive-in right like now you. is The Legend of the Phantom Rider. And I did kiss you. Stars but uh, was Angus Scrimm. And uh, we also showed a trailer for Red 71, which is a movie we play on this channel sometimes. Angus Scrimm also started in that me? film as well. Uh, today we're remembering Angus, who but, passed away five years ago. But you gotta love me. Well, you know you Angus Scrimm from his iconic role Walter, as I'm the sorry. tall man you just can't be sorry. in the Phantasm series. I want to marry you. Now calm down, Walter. Very kind and generous and, man and, and great actor. Maybe when the show's we miss over, you, we can Angus. talk about it. Well, I don't want to talk about it. I get it. I see the whole thing now. Nobody knows that Walter Paisley is born. I had a long list of people I wanted to, to name Carl, tonight that have worked for Roger, and I'll, I don't know if I can get through them all or not tonight. Will you do one favor for me? Just about anything, Walter. Would you let me make a statue? The next one on the list is John Sayles, famous really independent American filmmaker, 
That'd make me very happy. He actually wrote the script okay. for Apollo 13. Tonight. For Ron Howard, who also worked for Roger. Okay. John Sayles, uh, I think most famous film was probably Lone Star Come on. in the 90s. And uh, he wrote the script for Piranha for Roger. Another famous director you'd recognize, Martin Scorsese, directed his second feature film, Boxcar Bertha for Roger. And uh, Oscar winning screenwriter Robert Town, who wrote the screenplay to Chinatown, wrote several movies for Roger Corman. This could bring about a return to realism. Yes. A one-man return. We have many artists about, but no craftsmen. This man knows his anatomy. I'd give fifteen hundred. Try to talk to Mark Phantasm, and Angus Grimm, incredible actor, tall man in that movie. <laughs> great. Uh, so what's the trouble? Great series of films. Why should you be so depressed? Really interesting and uh, unique story. You can make twenty-five thousand on these pieces alone. I thought you put money down. I do, but twenty-five thousand. So I've named some, well, mostly directors, but some writers uh, who worked for Roger, but some actors who got their starts with Roger. Bruce Dern, who I think Got didn't he win an Oscar for we Nebraska, for or at least was nominated no a couple years back. Jack Nicholson got his start acting with Roger. He also wrote some scripts for Roger, and I believe he did some directing. Peter Fonda, Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper was uh, in our film last week, Night Tide. Sylvester Stallone, early start. Oof. Bodies coming through there. Uh, Sylvester Stallone starred in uh, Roger's uh, iconic film, Death Race 2000. Walter, there's a body inside that statue. Well, well that's Alice. It's all right, Carla. Maxwell says it's all right. Let them become clay in Charles his hands. Charles Bronson. Might mold them. Uh, got his early Brother, acting start with you stay uh, away from me. Valentine's Day Massacre. Don't you see, I believe Carla, it was. I made Roger. them immortal. Very successful film Don't you for see, Roger. I can do the same for you. A young Robert De Niro starred in Bloody Mama, I believe it was. Sandra, a young Sandra Bullock did a film for Roger. So, not only did <laughs> actors, and not only did the directors, writers, and other technicians either start with Roger, but some actors did too. Call Bell have him send some cards. I'm going at the face. I'm going with you. Poor Walter's the world's gonna come Walter down He's a murderer. Ah, man, I saw him chasing Carla down the street. Through the 70s, Roger uh, really was more of a producer with his company, New World, where a lot of these names, people I mentioned, were working on projects. Um, but one of the other things Roger did was distribute films. And uh, more importantly, he distributed foreign films. And over a period of 10 years, he had uh, distributed more Academy Awards than foreign films in the studio. What was that? Nobody knows I'm here. Some of those foreign filmmakers no. that he distributed, Ingmar Bergman, Francis Truffaut, Peter Weir, Federico Fellini, and Akira Kurosawa. How could they know? Did you see him? He's hiding around here someplace. He can't hide just because we're in clay and he isn't.
the Carl Roger, the king of the B movies. Oh. It was true, but go. really doesn't really accurately oh. describe his influence on motion picture history. Where is So please stay tuned after the movie tonight. A short little video presentation that documents when I first met Roger. Soon, All dressed up and nowhere to go. We'll teach him he can't murder us and get away with it, won't we? Walter. Walter. What you gonna do now, Walter? It is great. Talk to the mic. Great movie. Good movie, that jazz, go with the whole beatnik scene. It's great. Greatest work. Unfinished work. I hope you enjoyed Bucket of Blood. Notes and experiment. Please stay tuned X. for a short video feature after myself, this James trailer. Xavier. X, the most fantastic experiment you have ever taken part in, presents. Ray Moland, in his most challenging role since his Academy Award winning Lost Weekend. Save this trailer X, for last. The man with the X-ray eyes. This is the, right? my most favorite, and I think the best, Roger it's Corman like directed horror film. More light than I've ever seen. Filled with light. Atomic X, Boy, thanks for joining us tonight tries to help the most desperate in our society and enjoys all the delights of secretly studying sexology. Headache? No, it's just my eyes. <clears throat> Again, we saw earlier, Ray Milland had actually starred in uh, a Premature the Burial, the Poe film. Believe. Glad you're here, Atomic Boy. He could overcome the unknown. Save lives. After the trailer here, we'll have a short video presentation documenting when I first met Roger. Don't draw. Don't draw. The next card's a face card. And Harry, you better go for the sheriff right now.
Tom McBoy says he was involved in the 90s remake of Bucket of Blood. Common occurrence for Roger to remake some of his films. Wasn't it called Death Artist? No! Tom McBoy? No! All right. Several years ago, I had an opportunity. I was uh, at Club Red 71, and it was a miracle. Roger was there playing the piano. It was unbelievable. So I had an opportunity to chat with him, ask him a couple questions. So uh, we have a video document of that. Hope you enjoy it. that fascinate us the most are those that break through the defenses of the conscious mind and strike directly at the fears and fantasies of the unconscious. One of the most effective ways to accomplish this is through the urban myth. Somebody tells you a story that starts out in the world of the ordinary and then gradually shifts into the world of the weird. And he ends by saying, this really happened, it's true. It happened to a friend of mine, or to my brother-in-law. And you, of course, scoff and don't believe. But who knows? It could have happened to his brother-in-law, or yours. The fear that my mind will no longer be able to respond to the stimuli of the outside world. In the 1950s, we were under the illusion that science would be able to give us this control. We now know that the weird, the bizarre, the paranormal speak to the unconscious mind. The unspeakable does exist. Club Red 71, open all night long. Tasty Tramp dog food sold everywhere. Our national anthem.
watching Channel 67, Amter TV, broadcasting live from Gila Bend.